الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet علیہ الصلاة والسلام set the perfect example صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم for us on how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to live a righteous life and he صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said الدعاء هو عبادة as collected in Tirmidhi he said الدعاء supplication it is worship and from some of the supplications or some of the ways of dhikr and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's something that can be very easy for us to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially during the day and during the evening one of those supplications was mentioned in Sahih ibn Hibban قال أخبرنا عمران ibn Musa ibn Mujashi قال حدثنا حدبة ibn Khalid قال حدثنا حمال بن سلمة عن سحيل عن أبيه عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من قال هين يصبح سبحان الله وبحمده مئة مرة وإذا أمس مئة مرة قفرت ذنوبه وإن كانت أكثر من زبدة البحر In this hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever says during the morning time, Subhanallahi wa bihamdi, you know, all glorified be Allah. And we praise Him. One hundred times. And then if he does it in the evening, uh, 100 times, his sins will be forgiven even if they were greater than the foam of the sea. This is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, was showing us the ease of remembering him. And if we remember him often, this will help us gain forgiveness and help us also refrain from sin because the more you busy yourself with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the less time it is you have for sin and a sign that a person is not remembering Allah often is that you see them doing sins outwardly and for as a stick or a tool to measure ourselves with we have to look at ourselves and if we see that we are involved in many sins and especially the major sins then we have to we can easily point to the fact that we're not remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much we're not making these kind of dhikrs these easy ways of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the mornings and in the evenings and we're not maybe performing our prayers properly because the salat and the dhikr and supplication will help us to refrain from evil. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.